Welcome back, episode five. If we got the editing right on the episode four, we've had a lot of dramas this morning. A lot of dramas. Go I on. got into for, the 45th minute out of 48 minutes on episode four, um, and the Mac decided that it would crash, and I lost all of it. And that's not 45 minutes of editing. That is about five and a half hours of editing. Yeah. So keep in mind, we're we're very new to this. So editing, so editing for the time being has taken a long time because one, we're getting used to the program, which I'm pretty sure we're like I'm pretty good at now. Yeah, I was I was starting to really pick it up and really getting those minutes knocked down really quick. Yeah, you start picking up momentum, you just start flowing. But two, the our Mac is fucked. <laughs> our Mac takes about <clears throat> two minutes per cut. So like when you cut. When you cut a scene, when you just hit cut, it should be instant. We get the pinwheel of fucking death. <laughs> and I got the pinwheel of death for 15 minutes straight. <laughs> and I knew that something was going on and it was a little bit more extreme than usual. So that leads me into the first topic of today. Yep. Do you find, because you're obviously, you're on more money now in TikTok and yep. everything, than what you were back as a security guard, okay? Yeah. But in saying that, do you find that your expenses are so much higher these days? Um, uh, well, no. Expenses is in our new projects that we're starting. <laughs> yeah, hundred fucking percent. <laughs> but I still, I, I don't. You know me. I don't buy anything. I don't. Yeah. I, I'm very much a saver. I save yeah. a lot of money. Yeah. Um. So I don't know, but but you can't you can't security money, fucking doesn't even cover bills. <laughs> if you're gonna be a security guard, don't do it. <laughs> don't. Yeah, you make money from security. I had to beg you to leave security, but yeah, especially nightclubs, you more you make more money doing dodgy shit <laughs> than getting paid. Once again, are we incriminating ourselves again? No, like dodgy shit is in like doing big hours. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 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 yep. My thing is, is that if you're still a security guard right now, yeah, our Max just died. Yeah, we're fucked. <laughs> our Max just died. Like, what does the standard average household do when they lose something like that? <laughs> just fucking put an Instagram story up. <clears throat> podcast is over. <laughs> <laughs> because I'm really feeling the stresses this week. Like, all... I didn't think that we were going to have to buy a new PC too. I knew we were I wouldn't have bought that. No. Nah. <laughs> I, I, I knew we were going to have to buy a new PC. I thought this is going to last us a few months. Yeah. Not today. Yeah. No, I didn't think it would last us three episodes. So we don't, we don't know when, when the last episode is coming out or this one. This could be fucking two months from now. We don't know. Yeah. We have no idea. We've got news on the plumber though. We have news. I actually don't know. I don't know. So I thought you're, you did. You're, no, you're going to tell me about this one. I don't know the full story either. Oh, the, the story is I called them this morning and said, listen, we're going to need some fucking hot water. <laughs> and they said, uh, yeah, we're, we're away until fucking whenever. And I said. Oh, okay. We're talking about the real estate. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yep. You got more to add on to this? You know now? Yeah. I know what you're oh, talking go. about now. Yeah, yeah. So they, they said- Oh, your your property manager, so your property manager is actually away for four months. Yeah. We need to assign you a new person. Yeah. In that time that they're away. So which basically means this house has been living in limbo right now. <laughs> it's been living in limbo. <laughs> so all this time that we're expecting our hot water to be fixed. It's been with our property manager that's been away for four months. So we're just kicking back, living fucking- We're, we're kicking back. We're going to the gym for a shower. And old mate's sipping fucking pina coladas <laughs> in the Maldives right now. Do you, do you know the funny thing about- So I've got, a, I've got a story about plumbers. I always have plumbing issues for some fucking reason. Yep. I wanna, uh, not my last house. There's a house I pulled the property before that. It was, an, it was a unit. It was pretty cool. Pretty nice unit. I was fucking cleaning- <laughs> I was cleaning the spare bathroom sink. Yeah. And I put my thumb through it. And it, it was fu- it fucked my thumb up. You, but wait, you put your thumb so, okay. through the sink. So I was cleaning the sink and yeah. I saw a crack. Yeah. And then naturally I just pushed on the crack. 
Because I was like, why is there a crack in this thing? Why would you push on the crack? I was so fucking... I saw crack. The normal person's going to be like, oh, fuck, there's a crack. I'm not going to mess with that. Well, you, to be, I'm going to stick my finger in it. Well, to be fair, I didn't know if it was a crack or a hair. So I just pushed on it. Okay. My finger went through it. Fucked me up. I, I, so I went to work that night at the hospital. Yeah. They had to fucking fix my finger because it was bleeding everywhere. Anyway, so I, well, I was assuming, well, that's their problem. They're going to fix this for free because they fucked my thumb. <laughs> Turns out, no, I'd fix it. So when I went to move, they hit me with this mass bill. They hit me with a, a quote from their plumber. It was like huge. And I was like, fuck that. One of my, like I said, I kept in touch with four people from Harvey Bay. Yeah. One of which is a very successful plumber. He's probably the most successful person out of that fucking shithole. <laughs> he goes, oh, I'm coming down to Brizzy to party. Give me the fucking serial number. I'll bring a sink up and I'll fix it. I'll charge you charge it for free. Yep. And then you just send him a fucking bill. Yeah. And let's go. This cunt comes over <laughs> with his mate. <laughs> They're keen to fucking get on it. They didn't want to be there. Yeah. So they're rushing this thing. They're just fucking in and out. They're ripping shit out. Fucking making a mess. Where the sink was, it's like vinyl. Like, you know, the top of the sink? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. They didn't cut all the silicon off properly. So I'm thinking, this is sick. I'm getting this done for free. Fuck you, real estate. We win. They yeah. pull the sink out and it just tears half the vinyl off. <laughs> And I'm looking at him thinking, can't. <laughs> you fucked me here. And he goes, nah. Oh, he goes, watch this. And he put it back down. Clearly. You know when you rip vinyl, there's clear line yeah, all through yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. He goes, they won't even be able to tell. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I fucking cleaned the house spotless, got the fucking bond clean done. Yeah. Then they hit me. They said, listen, your bond's gone. <laughs> so what, what's happened? It's clean. They sent me a photo of the fucking skin, the sink. They said this. What's happened here? We're going to have to replace the whole fucking bench top. Well, I would have called it, listen, I gave you a sink. You can fix the bench top and we call it fucking square. Yeah. They didn't accept it. <laughs> oh, and I said to my mate, I said to him, you know what? I would have given him a shout out too. Yeah. But he fucked me. <laughs> so I'm not giving him a shout out. <laughs> fucking, you know what? You can sponsor this podcast. <laughs> Sponsor whatever you owe him from the bond. Yeah, you owe me that whole bond, dog. <laughs> oh, that's what I mean. That was lit luck too. I finally, I was finally winning. I was like, I'm going to get one up here. And then that's well, I happened. feel like that's what you get for trying to cut corners. You know what I mean? Yeah, like you tried to cut the corner by getting it free. Keep it in mind. And that's yeah, what happens. Yeah, but by the way, he's a very successful plumber. <laughs> I assume that he'd be better than whatever <laughs> person they've got. <laughs> I wonder if he ever goes to a client and just be, and just tries to silicon their vinyl bench top back down. Yeah, that's, does he do it to everyone? <laughs> like, is that why he's so rich now? But then, I, but, then, <laughs> but then I thought about it because he is a very successful. He's got yeah. a very big company. Yeah, he, the, he's probably not on the tools anymore. He's probably got people running around. He probably, probably forgot how to fucking the tools for ten years. <laughs> he's gone. Yeah, I think I can remember it. <laughs> I should have fucking known when he brought out. So he, he brought the sink out, yeah. and there's like a sketch of exactly how how much you got to fucking cut out of the, the yeah. bench. And he was like lining it up and shit. And I was thinking, fuck, <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't look like you know what you're doing, dog. <laughs> yeah, he's probably been off the tools. He fucked me. <laughs> Speaking about people fucking me, yeah. I I I was at Woolies just before. And I, I've got two stories from this. I was at Woolies. Yeah, yep. I was alone. I thought I walked in there. Thought, no, I'm going to be an alpha. I don't want these fucking trolleys. And I loaded myself up. Halfway through, I realized I've got too much. I don't have enough hands <laughs> in for the this. bags. Yep. Shit's fallen. <laughs> the things that were fallen was bread, and I had four cans of tuna stacked on top of each other. Yep. I had a rice packet in my mouth because I was loaded up. <laughs> this lady, I was walking, I was nearly at the register, and I'm walking real slow because I'm like trying to drop some shit. This lady cut in front of me, right? <laughs> She'd rushed to get in front of me. And then she proceeded. She was taking up the whole fucking lane with her trolley. She would have been about 30, maybe 40, not old. Yep. She, she proceeded to take fucking 20, it felt like 20 minutes to get to the fuck self-service. Oh. And it was I, triggering me real bad. I hate I, it. I, I, wait, wait, that, I wanted to- I wanted starting to, to sound like you have a little bit of grocery rage. I've got, no, no, here's the difference. I've got rage, but I don't voice it. You voice it. I, I sound like you- Sounds like you're really venting here. I reckon you, you yeah, might no, have I, a little bit of grocery rage, I reckon. I, I wanted to front kick her right in the back. <laughs> <laughs> see? See? I might say something or I might speed past someone on the road. You, you're you trying to resort to violence. Yeah, I always resort to violence in my head. But I don't even say anything. So I avoid, they don't know. Like in my brain, I'm going through all these scenarios like, fuck. 
That's what I can do to you right now, you fuck. That's a woman you're talking about. <laughs> you want to get started on that? <laughs> <laughs> but, 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 on a positive note, I, I've, for everybody watching the shops at Woolworths, I can save you some money. You can save some money. I can save you some money. So on the very last thing that you scan, yep. Before you know when you scan it, it loads and then it pops up on the screen. Yep. Before it pops up on the screen, so as it's loading, start smacking the pay now. Yep. And it comes up on the screen, but it does not charge you. Chain. Yep. That's stealing. No, it's not. Well, it is because you're not paying for it. It's their issue. Did you pay for it? No. That's like fucking loading it up, scanning it, walking out with the trolley without paying. But I tried. I, I scanned it. I don't think that holds up in the lo- in the line of it was of it was on the screen as I purchased it. Did it come up on the docket? No, no, it did with no price. Guys, go to Woolies and fucking try it. <laughs> Self service and just spam the thing I, on the I, last. Hey, I, I, dude, you know that Woolworths one day could sponsor us, and they should because I'm I'm actually helping them save money here. I'm exposing their... Fl- their I, fl- I don't think that Woolies is going to look at us and be like, you know what? These guys just made all these people save all this money from our grocery store. Yeah, but again, I'm, I'm showing them an issue they've got to fix. Or maybe just go to the manager instead of saying it on a podcast. I will go. Uh, you know what? <laughs> I'll go to the manager once the fucking ladies stop walking in front of me when I've got a fucking mouthful of rice. I, I hate it. I hate it when... Somebody can clearly see that you're trying to get to somewhere. They make it their mission to get in front of you just to prove that they're quicker. And then they hold you up. Yeah. Like, why do you rush to get in front of me? And that's cool. If you're faster than me, keep rushing. Yep. 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 So let's go back to that that car that I sped past. No. The one at the traffic lights that had to get in front of me and then, and then sat. Sat fucking slower than me. Like, but- Why? Why, why did you speed up in yeah, the first place? The thing with your road rage is I get it. Hey, I was actually I was actually really well behaved last night. Guys, we came up to a green light. There was only one car in one lane. He was he was on his phone or something. He, he didn't we wasn't watching it go green. Dory's come up behind him. Easily can just go on the next lane past him, no worries. Or you know, have a bit of a fucking mumble to yourself. But he's on the horn. He's on the horn fucking in the car getting himself worked up. And I said, hey, just fucking relax, man. <laughs> you don't need to do it. Why the fuck is he on his phone? No, I get, he's in the wrong. But I'm just saying you could avoid what you do. Maybe he should know. You Get, get the fuck out of my way because the yellow, yellow baron's coming to Yeah. Oh, by the way, by the way, huh. by the way, you owe me a hundred bucks. Be a, yeah, we know. went out to this fucking. But listen, listen. But I believe listen, you let's said. Call, let's call it even. What I'll do, all right? <laughs> what I'll do is when we buy the new computer, I'll chuck in an extra. Yeah, chuck in the extra hundred. I'll tell you what. Remember last last step? He was talking about the fucking honeypot of sharks. We found the honeypot. We didn't get a fucking nibble. <laughs> We didn't get a fucking thing. The only thing we got was almost ran over by a shipping the, yeah. By a yeah, fucking talk, cargo ship. Yeah, talk about that. Oh, and by the and and by the way, I got fucking saturated. <laughs> I was fucking off it. I was off last time. This is going back into lit luck again, yeah. It is, yeah. Like this is gonna be an ongoing thing that you guys hear about when it comes to lit luck. Because let's be honest, all right? It was only showing seven knots. Seven knots. On a northerly, which is fine, with an incoming tide. So it's literally wind with tide. Should be should be flat. Right? It was fucking rough. We get around the corner and we're fucking going up and down. Some, and some up of those waves down. were breaking. <laughs> they were. They were. I honestly felt like Kelly Slater was gonna pop out of nowhere <laughs> and just rip up a fucking tube. Um And do you remember as as we were getting as we were getting ready, I said, fuck. It's a bit choppy, mate. And you said, What the fuck are you talking about? Because it wasn't. And once we hit that it corner. Wasn't. Yeah, once we hit the corner. We were getting hot. <laughs> <laughs> to the point that it dropped my nav lights here. We hit the bo- we hit the water that hard. My lower back's still fucking killing me. <laughs> you, know, you, know that, you know that video that went viral of that fucking boat that hit the wave and just it, the yeah, whole boat yeah, folds yeah. in half? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sitting at the front. <laughs> I'm sitting at the fucking bow. <laughs> it's about, right? Yeah. And I was thinking, I'm about to be fucking sent off on my own here. <laughs> 
So we're going out there and I'm like, fuck, yeah, no, nah, it is getting a bit rough. I'm like, Shane, fucking hold on, eh? Because this is, this is going to get a bit wild coming through here. And it did. It did. It got fucking wild. And anyway, as, um, as we got up to the spot, I anchored up and everything like that. And we're just watching these guys like, so if anybody's ever seen around wharves and stuff like that at, at like ports, there's all these cranes and the crane driver sits up in this little box and it goes back and forward around It's a crane. big ass fucking it's ship. Fucking massive. Basically. So anyway, they're, they're taking the, what would you call it? The container. Shipping container. The shipping containers off, off the boat. So you can imagine how big these cranes are that are doing it. And anyway, um, we're like, fuck. Does it look like this ship's leaving? We're like, ah, I don't know. Because I, I thought I thought myself was that they were dropping the ropes to then tighten them up and, and then throw them back on, onto the port, which makes sense, right? It wasn't until we seen it like drift off the port about 20 metres it would have been, about 20 metres off the port. And I'm like... Shane, I think this fucking ship's about to move, eh? And the tugboats, I thought tugboats were there to push it up against the port a bit more. No, it was bringing it out into the shipping channel where we were. And, and the funny thing is, the, it's a funny dynamic between the two of us because <laughs> Geordie gives a fuck a lot more than what I know. Oh, he should. It's his boat, his license. <laughs> so he's going. Hey. And water, I never fuck with. Yeah, he doesn't fuck with water. He's going, can't. They fucking. That ship's coming towards it. I'm just sitting down still. And I'm like, looking like it. <laughs> <laughs> so, as per usual, whenever we're on the boat, I do everything. Everything. I do fucking everything. And Shane just sits there on his phone or fucking- I'm watching reels. He was, he was laying back on the captain's seat <laughs> with his head up against the steering wheel in a perfect spot where you would just be able to snooze away. Watching Instagram reels. Watching Instagram reels and laughing at but, himself. Uh, Jordy's looking at this boat, this massive ship, big serious situation. I'm trying to show him reels and I'm getting dirty. Hey, <laughs> fucking watch the reels I'm trying to show you. And I'm like, there ain't going to be no fucking reels in a minute. The only reels there's going to be is us reeling ourselves into the fucking land. Hey, wait a second. Anyway, I, I I pulled a fucking I pulled the bait off the hook last. You time. did, you did. I was actually impressed, and I was going to bring it up later on in the podcast of the fact that you did. Yeah. But I just want to tell them sort of what happened okay. with the with the container ship. So anyway, I'm like, fuck this this shipping container is like really close to us, and I'm thinking with the trawler, what angle we would usually turn off the port, like off the side of a wharf and stuff like that. I'm like, fuck. This shipping container is going to come straight over the top of us. Shane just poured water on himself. <laughs> I fucking did. So I'm like, fuck, this, this shipping container is coming straight for us. I'm like, oh, I better pull up anchor. So I've kicked the boat over. It's in neutral. And I'm pulling up the anchor. Oh, at the start, she didn't, she didn't want to fucking kick yeah, over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lit luck was in full force. <laughs> the boat wasn't kicking over again. Once again, I have no issues with the boat anymore because we replace the engine, right? Anyway, I'm struggling to kick it over. It finally kicks over. I run up to the anchor rope because it is a manual one. It doesn't have the anchor winch. I'm pulling it up and it gets fucking snagged. It's getting snagged and I'm like, I'm starting to say a whole heap of I words. Can, I can hear Jordy out the front stressing, saying some shit. I'm still watching reels. <laughs> I'm stressing because this anchor is pinned on the bottom. <laughs> it's not going anywhere. I'm fucking, I've got this guy sitting at the captain's seat, not doing fuck all, but watching Instagram <laughs> reels and laughing at himself. And I finally get off the bottom and I pull it up. By the time that I get the anchor up, this ship would have to be no more than 60 meters away from us at that time. So when that happened, I'm looking at this ship and I'm like, it's still coming straight fucking for us. And I couldn't turn around and go around the, the far side of the tugboats because by the time I got around the tugboats and that, they would have been where I needed to get to. Yeah, we were just cutting 360s. So I was just, yeah, cutting 360s. I was just spinning around waiting to see their next move. And then I finally seen my clearing and I'm like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to go between the ship and the between the cargo ship and the port so i fucking just boost it down and i'm like shane hold on it's gonna get rough through here 
there's quite a lot of swell off the side, forwards, backwards, all over the place. So we quickly fucking shoot down there and that. I made it through because, you know, best skippy in the Brizzy River, baby. Younger skippy in the world. But it, no. But it was fucking scary. It was fucking scary. I'll give it. I'll give it. It was fucking scary. This guy wouldn't know because he was looking down at his phone the whole fucking time. <laughs> I was chilling. That was, I thought it was a good time. Yeah. Yeah, Jordy was fucking stressing. And then we almost got hit by a trawler. And the trawler came for us, yeah. Trawler. I went out the back of the trawler and I went to drop a Benito down underneath the net. And um, old mate reckons pull up the net right here, spin a quick 180 and fucking come straight at us. Yeah. Oh, when like, you go fishing with a, fish, with a fisherman, they don't accept not catching a fish. Yeah. So like we pulled up and I'm thinking, all right, we're off. <laughs> and Joey's like, oi. There's a trawler over there. We could probably catch some fish over there. I'm thinking, fuck, I don't care now. I'm done. The air was finished. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go home, cunt. But we fucking started trailing a trawler, dropping shit in, and we get run over. It's fucking wild. It was a good night. It was a good night. Good night out on the water. But I am still, I'm not feeling too good about this new expense that we've got. The PC? The PC. It's not good. And then... Later on to find out that a friend has now messaged us to say, hey, you could have been editing this podcast in 40 seconds. Yeah. Yeah, but well, you know what? For the viewers, for the listeners, you're welcome. Because we've been putting a lot of hours in We've this been show. putting in five, six hours per edit. Yep. Have you... I'm gonna, I think this is for the boys out there. Have you, have you ever fallen in love with a stripper? I fell in love with a prosy. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> no, but hear me out. You know when you're like 18, the first strip club you go, I feel like every guy goes through this because I actually had to coach. I've never been to a strip club before. <laughs> I swear I'm brutal. You've never been to a strip I club? I've never been to a strip club ever before in my whole entire life. Never. So you've been to the B-Roth? Yep. But you haven't been to a... Never been to a stripper. Here's what... Here's it makes th- more sense to me to go to a beer off than a stripper. Oh, for sure. Money money for value? Yeah. Yeah. But here's the thing for the boys that go to a strip club. I feel like the very first time you go to a Rippers, I remember when I was 18. And then I coached my mates who weren't quite 18 yet. When they turned 18, they did the same thing. Everyone I know has done the same thing. Go to a Rippers, you fall in love with one of them. <laughs> one fucking... One of them you fall in love with. And they're, they're like the greatest thing on earth. And then you convince your friends that she loved you too. <laughs> But in actual fact, she just loved your money. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm starting to feel. But hear me out. Yeah. I'm starting to feel that maybe I might be that one percenter type of situation where I don't thought like maybe she does love me. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, I went through this with my mates and I said, you know, they they said, no, she mate, she they act like they do, so they get more money. Yep. I was like, no, no. <laughs> what we have is special. <laughs> and they were like, listen, were you, were you giving her money when she was giving you this attention? I was like, yeah. You were in a relationship with the stripper at one point though, weren't you? Yeah, I was. So I guess you, she was in love with you. I didn't meet her at the strip club. <laughs> I, well, I feel like you did. I met her at a club I was working at. <laughs> and then she told me later, oh, by the way, oi, she didn't fucking tell me straight off the bat either. And I think that's a good topic to bring up. Do you, should you tell your partner immediately your profession? Yeah, I mean, if, you, if you're a stripper or if you're a prosy or something like that, I feel like that should be a pretty quick statement. I'm talking a few months in, like. I still a few know. months in and you still didn't know. Well, the thing was. You she, really don't give a fuck, do you? Well, the thing was she had a job during the day as well. She was a dental assistant. Dental assistant by day? Yeah. Stripper by night? Yeah, well, because at the start. You don't live together, nothing. So. Well, I guess she was a dental assistant at all times of the day then, wasn't she? Yeah. It was the funniest way how it came up too. Yep. One night I was working and we'd been seeing each other for a few months now. I was working down the road from the strip club. She come walk past. I was like, hey, hey. She goes, hey. I was like, what are you doing? She goes, going to work. I was like, it's fucking 10 at night. Is it? We got an emergency fucking roof canal to get in. <laughs> she goes, no, I work up the road at fucking honeybees. <laughs> I was like, oh. Do you? <laughs> <laughs> what do you do in that situation? Do you just accept it? And yeah. Like, well, hey. I, well, well, the thing was, I was working and I'm pretty sure I was dealing with a fucking a fight at the time as well yep. in the pub. 
And um, so it was in my ear, in my fucking radio. So I had to run off. So I didn't really have to have give much much thought, but I said, oh, okay, ran off. And then later on, I was thinking, did she fucking say Honey Bees? <laughs> <laughs> but then sure enough, later that night, I was still working. I was working at Caxton at the time. It it, it was open later than the, than the strip club. Yep. She comes walking past <laughs> at like fucking three in the morning. And I was like, oh, yo, did you have a good shift? She goes, yeah. <laughs> So nonchalant. <laughs> so about nonchalant. It. And I was like, oh, fair enough. And then fucking, then later on we spoke about it. And she's like, oh, yeah, I'm a stripper. <laughs> 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 fucking fair enough. I don't think that there's a problem with dating a stripper. No, there really wasn't. Do you know what the funniest thing is? One of my mates, yeah. Joey, he fucking, he was grilling me. He's like, how could you do that, bro? How are you going to let other guys touch your fucking missus, man? I don't give a well, well, fuck, I, I'd pay for that. Yeah, but the thing <laughs> is now, yeah. he's he's got a missus. She's like 19 or something. She's a stripper. <laughs> <laughs> Joey, how could you do that, mate? I know you listen to this too. I fucking know you do. <laughs> how could you do that, mate? How could you let some other man touch your missus? Honestly, I love that. Can, can we talk about that? Or do you think maybe it's too early in the podcast to to get talking on that? I, I feel like do it. I think leave it for a bit. Oh, you reckon? I mean, you don't want to get cancelled too quick? Not yet. We can get into it. We can... Oh, I think we'll leave it for another episode. Yeah, all right. All right, we'll leave it for another episode. What I want to talk about with you, and this came yeah. up last night, how much caffeine is too much caffeine? Oh, I don't think you can get enough caffeine, to be <laughs> honest. I'm one of your biggest <laughs> fucking beans you've ever met in your life for caffeine. I know you build up tolerance to the shit. Yeah. Just like everything. I've definitely like, got a tolerance to it. That's just like sure. you build up tolerance to a fucking coldie. Yep. The old coldies, you reckon? Fucking. Can't wait to get home and knock the top off a coldie. Can't wait to blow the froth off a coldie. <laughs> um, I feel like there should be, but it still has effect. Oh, so you build up tolerance, but it has an effect still. Like your heart and everything, it's still fucking affecting, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, does it still have the same effect? Yeah. Because I feel like on some days, there's just too much blood in my caffeine system. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't work. I don't think it works like that. Because I feel like I have more energy when I don't drink caffeine. No, for sure. Yeah, for sure. And, and you know what? I've looked it up. I've researched it. It's because we have ADHD. So it yeah. has the opposite effect. But for some fuck, whatever reason, I can't stop drinking the fucking shit. I, it's like a, it's like an endorphin hit. Like Whenever I have, I have a, a caffeine drink, I feel good. Yeah, but I have caffeine. I'll go to sleep. Like yeah. it, it actually makes me tired. Well, last night on the way home, I smashed down that Red Bull right before going to bed. That's what I mean. And then you had a coffee frappe. <laughs> yeah, well. and a coffee frappe. Yeah, I'll do the same thing. I'll and fr- it's a coffee frappe with a coffee shot because the coffee frappes don't, aren't actually coffee. Yeah. By the way, guys, if you ever want to go to McDonald's, don't go to McDonald's Kedron. Don't go to McDonald's Kedron at fucking 1 a.m. Tw- yeah, one, the 24 hours, they're constantly fucking shut. Yeah, you can't, You got you to gotta claim like, we're open 20 hours of the day. Yeah, yeah, knock a few hours off. That's t- two, week, two Sundays in a row they've been shut. That's like, it doesn't matter what time I go there or when I go there. Whatever it is that I order, they don't fucking do. <laughs> right? So I'll order a frozen Coke. The machine's broken. I'll order a coffee frappe. Oh, well, machine's broken. Yeah, I'm the same. Like, I was just at McDonald's before on my way home from the shower, right? And I ordered a McSpicy. A McSpicy? McSpicy burger. Oh, we don't make them anymore. Yeah. It was it was on the sign. What do you mean you don't fucking make them anymore? Well, that was like last time. We went to the other Maccas after that one fucking shunned us away. We went to one in fucking... Lutwich. Yeah, Lutwich. I just wanted a frozen Coke and they said, yeah, we've got everything but the frozen Coke, Tim. <laughs> you can have your, you you can can have have your quarter pounder, you want but a, you can't have your frozo. You want a regular Coke? <laughs> no. No, I don't want a fucking I don't want regular, fucking Coke. regular Coke. <laughs> oh, shit. Fuck, it, it actually fucks me off. It fucks me off when... It's just basic shit too. Every, every time that you order, there's always something fucking wrong. I hate when things go wrong. Do you have you ever had an injury during sex? Yes, I have. What have you had? I split my banjo. Oh yeah, I split my banjo. And if if the boys out there have ever split their banjo before, you would know what I'm fucking talking about. There'll be blood everywhere. It's an absolute crime scene. 
and you can't use your dick for about a week and a half. Should I tell my story now? Is that a bit much for nah, this? Nah, go for it. Do it. Go for it. I love this story. Because I've also got a mate that's recently had an injury. Nah, I fucking love this story. Okay. Right. <laughs> Wait, this is going to be a bit rough. Let's set the scene. Set the scene. Set yeah. the scene. Go, you set it. <laughs> well, Shane's a whore. Okay. Well, I'll set it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll set it. All right. So back in the day, I was a whore. <laughs> No, back in the day, I was, yeah, I was actually. And I'd, um, I took this girl home once and, and I was smashing. I was doing a good job. Yeah. In my head, I thought I was doing a good job. And I had a bit of reputation and I was, and I G'd up all the boys too. You had a bit of a reputation. A little bit, like with all the security boys. Fuck, that sounds bad. <laughs> <laughs> Bro's just going through all of the security boys. <laughs> yeah, no. <nah. laughs> So, so we're setting the scene. You got one of the security boys over hey, for the night. Oh, Bob was over. <laughs> you fucking going and down on old Bobby. No, no. Got, uh, girl, stay away from fucking bouncers. That piece of shit. Anyway, all we do is talk about how many fights we can get in the night and how many girls you can pull. That's basically your job. Yeah. Anyway, well, I don't think that's in your job description. It's not. <laughs> but because, like I said earlier, you're getting paid fucking peanuts. <laughs> so you got to do something. Anyway, I took this girl home and... And I was smashing her. And I was doing a good job. I had to sweat up. I was really, really giving it my yep. all. And there was one of those ones. And then she turned around and said, and I couldn't go any harder. And she just turned around and she said, fuck me. <laughs> and I was thinking, I can't do any more. I'm doing my best. <laughs> and I, but then my ego took over. And I was like, fuck, she goes to the club that I work at. She's going to tell the boys, oh, shit. Yeah. So we're in doggy. Yeah. I leant over. So it was like half cowgirl, half doggy. Shins yeah. were against the bed. And then I drove her as hard as I could with a thrust and my arms. Yeah. It slipped out. <laughs> and it just pumped into a, it's a gooch bone, right? Yeah. yeah. Anyway, every, all the boys, and probably the girls know this too, like your man slipped out at one point. And it like yeah. stings for a bit, then it stops and you're good to go again. Yep. Stung for a bit. And then I saw, what so I rolled over. I've rolled over in pain and it was getting worse and worse. Normally it lasts a little bit, then it goes away. It was getting worse. And then I was thinking, I can still I can still finish this off. But what killed the mood is she then rolled over. She goes, are you all right? And I was like, fuck, I don't know. And then she started stroking my hair and rubbing my back and shit. You know, and it's all over at the moment. She starts stroking. Boo. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's all over the moment that she starts stroking your hair and caring for you. Yeah, it's all over. So then, so then after a while, I realized it wasn't getting better. She turned on the light. And let me tell you, when <laughs> if you've ever seen you dismended, if you, if you ever saw... A dismembered cock. <laughs> it's, it's, it's not the best thing you can look at. And I was immediately freaking out. So, so what what did it actually look like? So, I, and again, you're not going to believe this. It looked like a football. By the time I looked at it and I was touching it and I was thinking, <laughs> I was thinking, what's going on here? Why is it so big? Yeah. And it was immediately black. She was just doing her job right. Yeah. Nah. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's so it's ever been in it was, yeah, it was bigger than it's ever been. It changed. Oh yeah. I was I was black from the waist down at that point. But half, so, so on the left side, it was swollen. Yep. But on the right side, it was like, it was like bubbling out. I'm talking like a football, like a full football. Yep. So we said, fuck it. We got to go to the hospital. So we went to the hospital, walked in there. The triage girl's like, calm down, sir. Because <laughs> I was freaking out. She goes, sit down in the fucking, we'll get back to you when the doctor's ready. So I just pulled my pants down and showed her. I was like, give me a fucking doctor. And so she winked out as soon as she saw it. And she went and got a doctor. I walked into the triage room. The doctor come in and goes, listen, mate, I know you're very elevated at the moment. This happens all the time. Usually, it's just a couple of anti-inflammatories and you're on your way. So I was immediately calm. I was like, yeah. oh, doctor's told me that. We're good. He come, <laughs> I showed him. He goes, hang on a minute. I'll be back. He comes back with another doctor and a cannula. And he goes, we're going to need to put you in emergency surgery. <laughs> emergency surgery. So, he, so I've got a, yeah. So he's fucking put me in the next ambulance. Yep. We, we, he drove me with the, with the fucking sirens on, keeping him on. Oh, then now I'm really fucking panicking. I'm thinking, fucking, they're going to chop this thing off. So they took me to the Royal Brisbane and um, had surgery. So it turns out I severed the artery and it was a mess. They, it was a mess. And keeping, I've worked at the hospital now, so I know everyone was laughing at me. Yeah. Everyone was talking, but they're still talking about this. And, and I, then I moved in with one of my mates and he lived with a nurse from the yeah. hospital and he knew about the story. Yeah. 
He, he knew about the story before I even fucking knew him. I was mentioning it. He knew about it. He was in the next room operating and shit. So anyway, back to the story. I think it was it was 42 or 30 something stitches in this That's thing. a lot of stitches. I don't I think maybe at maximum <laughs> I could probably get about four and a half stitches. <laughs> they were very on, small stitches. On my on my Johnson. They were using like heavy magnetized fucking Bro's using straight up fucking microscope for yeah. mine. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, how they do the surgery. Do you know how they do the surgery? How they did it. They cut all around the, the bottom side of your yeah. thing and they pull all the skin and muscle down. Ah, fuck. <laughs> I've had enough. Okay. I've had enough. <laughs> okay. I've yeah. had enough. I can't fucking yeah. handle that. It's right. fucked. Anyway, that was my injury. It was, a, it was the worst one ever and I've had a lot of injuries. That was the worst thing ever. Yeah, fuck. I don't know. I can't say can't say the banjo was anything, anything like that. And how that come up is one of my mates was doing the dirty with his missus the other day and he got, he got, um carpet burn on his knees <laughs> that's right he did he, he did. did he got carpet burn on his knees how the fuck does that happen <laughs> on the bed they yep. weren't on the carpet yep and he got the carpet burn i'm starting to think something else was going I'm on i'm starting to think some foul play some foul play was going on i'm starting to think that maybe old big dicko <laughs> actually likes the big dicko <laughs> That's a fucking. That's a whole nother topic. That's a we'll whole talk about topic. that one. Another time. Yeah, we'll talk about that one. We've had some difficulties on this podcast so far, haven't we? We've had a. You got yeah, guys. We're gonna. But you got. We're, you're not gonna hear most of it because we've got. We've, we're gonna have edit a lot of it out. But there's been a lot going on in the background. A lot. There's been wash machines, dryers going off, fucking brood of barking, brood of barking in the background. Ubers. Ubers, the whole lot. No, it was the posty. Oh, it was the fucking posty. It was the posty. He hates that posty. Yeah, he fucking hates that posty. I don't know what it is. It's just that van. Yeah. That van, van pops up in the street and all of a sudden he goes fucking nuts. Yeah. Probably letting out some steam. Letting out a bit of anger from being locked in that room for fucking 35 days. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, he thinks it was the posty that locked him in the room for fucking so long. Um, My thing is, all right. You're going away. You're leaving me. I am. You're leaving me. Yeah. On Thursday. On Thursday. We're like three days. Where are you going? Supercross. You're going to the Supercross. I'm going to Supercross in Melbourne, Marvel Stadium. Who, who's racing? Who's your, who's your number one person you want to win? Are you but, following anyone? Well, yeah, Ken Roxon will win. Fuck Ken Roxon. You hate, you hate Bro, him. Bro, fuck Ken Roxon. So, guys. Is the Lawrence Brothers racing? No. Nah. So, so, guys, I don't think so. They could make a guest appear. I don't know. But here's so so Jordy Jordy's never been into racing or whatever. But since he's known me, he's been getting right into it and following it and everything. There's this one guy. I don't know why he hates him so much, but he hates him. Oh, I fucking <laughs> hate Kenny Roxon. He chose this one guy, and, and Ken Roxon's like changed the sport. He's he's very much like the McGregor of motorsports. Nah, he's a fucking softy. And that that guy's the biggest fucking sook on the circuit. Yeah, Jordy hates him. He's a fucking proper sook. <laughs> he's an entitled fuck. Yeah. So well, he's gonna win. Yeah, well, if the Lawrence brothers race, he ain't. Yeah. Old Jetty boy. Old Jetty boy. All right? Yeah. They're doing the Aussies proud. They are. They are. But They're anyone that doesn't know. ripping it up. Anyone that doesn't know motocross, supercross, which you probably don't. I love it. I love that in combat sports. But anyway, Australians suck at motocross in comparison to Americans because they don't yeah. have enough resources and shit. Yeah. The two Lawrence brothers, they're brothers. They're fucking dominating over there all of a sudden. Yeah. I, I strongly urge anybody that doesn't watch the motocross or the supercross – Fucking watch it. Watch it. Give it a crack and support the Aussie boys, the Lawrence brothers. Yeah. Because Aussie boy, Aussies have never been up there and they'll probably never be up there again. Yeah. And the Lawrence brothers are fucking freaks. They're freaks, yeah. And it's pretty awesome to watch. The fact that we are dominating, dominating in such a heavily US influenced yeah. sport. Yeah. And we never have before and we never will again. Yeah. So it's good to get behind it. The boys are doing doing us proud. They are. They are. But Kenny Rocks will win this weekend. Bro, sure. have you seen the comment sections on videos? No. It, it doesn't matter what it is. Like I was talk I was looking at Jet Lawrence's comment section yeah. the other day, right? And he's releasing his new donut goggles. Mm -hmm. Okay. The Jetsons donuts. And the guy was fully cracking the sads in the comments. You know, I'm talking a middle-aged man, yeah? And when I read his bio, it was all about God. 
Okay. And then he's commenting in Jet fucking Lawrence's um, comment section. How dare you sell such a disgusting item of food that is so full of carcinogenics, <laughs> like sugar and dough, right? Yeah. <laughs> this, this is what he's cracking the shits about, okay? So I responded to his comment. I was like, fuck, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stir this cunt up a little bit. That's what Geordie does. I'm going to stir this cunt up a little bit. I said, fuck. I didn't know 45-year-old women with bob cuts are allowed to comment in <laughs> no, this I hate comment bob section. Bob cuts. <laughs> cuts <dear. laughs> right? Can we talk about bob cuts? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Right? Cunt responded with, nah, but you're looking in the mirror. Yeah. And I was like, ah. Sold. We got one of these guys, huh? We got one of these guys. Sold. Anyway, my comment ended up getting about 300 fucking likes. And I was like, I feel validated for the day. I'm going to hop off Instagram now. You you know what I find? Like, this is a big one in the fitness world too. The people people that preach the most positivity and shit are the biggest haters of them. Oh, they are the most negative fucks ever. Like, I come, I wake up in the day, right? I look out the window and I say, fuck, that guy looks like a cunt, right? But I keep that attitude. Yeah. I keep that attitude. But if you actually meet me, I'm actually quite a positive person, right? But it just seems to be every person that's screaming on social media happiness, they're usually fucking depressed. You know what's crazy to me? I, I know heaps of, like, there's so many. There's literally fucking probably, I could name, I could rattle off a hundred names right now that do this. Yeah. You speak to them in real life and they fucking, they're ragging on specific people in the fitness industry. Yep. Two fucking minutes later on their story. They're reposting their shit like, oh my God, girl. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, God. That's, that's like with every like social setting. It's like crazy. Every single person never keeps the same fucking energy. Ever. Like if I say I hate someone, I fucking hate them and I'm going to tell them I hate them. Right? Yeah, for real. If I like someone, I'll tell them I like someone, but I'll also defend that person to the people that don't fucking like them. I'm not going to just agree just because I'm in a different environment. Yeah, uh, there's so many. Uh, I don't get being fake. The bob cuts. Bob cuts. Holy fuck it, girls! Everyone listening, <laughs> never get a, it. Wait, is it a bob cut? Because I've had this discussion with a girl, and I'm yeah. pretty sure it's not actually called a bob cut. What? I don't think it's a bob cut that we're talking about. What, what short we hair. Got? We're talking about short hair, like here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's that called? Oh, that's a bob cut. That's what I thought was bob cut. And I remember I was fucking, I was preaching this story to some girl one time. She's like. After like 20 minutes of her being confused, she goes, you got the wrong fucking haircut. <laughs> but anyway, girls, oi, girls, let me tell you, if you're single, even in a relationship, if you, if you want your man to like you, yeah. don't get a haircut above the shoulders. I promise you, if I, if I ever do get a girlfriend again one day, hopefully. It's not happening. Hopefully that will happen. But if I ever do, right, and she's got long hair, right, and we live together and I'm supporting this. Right? And I'm working every day to support the household, okay? And you fucking come home because you've had some sort of crisis or you're like, new hair, new me. And it's above the shoulders. Guess what? You're now my roommate. My brother. And you're now paying half of the fucking rent. You're my brother now. And- oh, I'm telling you, we could, the night previously, we could be fucking into it. Real yep. romantic. Yep. We get, we have... In the morning, wake up. She come downstairs with her hair like that. And I'm like, what's up, bro? What's, <laughs> what's up, mate? What's up, G? Yeah, fool. What's up, G? I'm get, yeah, I'm giving I'm giving them the high five to the slide to the yeah. knuckles. Yeah. That's what I'm giving them. Yeah. Because they're now you they're now your boy. Yeah, well, they basically got more fucking testosterone than what you do when they wake up. <laughs> yeah, for real. I, I don't get like listen, listen, keep it in mind. Do whatever you want that makes you happy. Yep. If that makes you happy, do it. But just know you're never getting a fucking boyfriend again. <laughs> <laughs> There's not a single man on earth that likes that haircut. Surely not. There can't be. I I don't say I you know what? You can go. You can be a ten. Have the the, the ideal. Yep. Everything for you know each specific male, whatever. Yep. And you go to a negative yep. the second you have that haircut. Yeah. It's almost like a guy with a mad beard that shaves it. Do you know what I feel like it is? I feel like it's designed for like your late forties, early fifties to sixties. Yeah. Well, haircut. it's just a transition into right. a Karen, isn't it? That, that's right. So if you're gonna fucking start it off at twenty eight years old. Fucking! I do not want to be with a miserable cunt like that. Imagine, imagine that by the time they're forty, 
That's what I mean. That's a lot. Bro's, bro's wearing, wearing fucking moo-moos by the age of 40 with the mob cut. Bro's going to walk down the full Dada tracky. Bro's <laughs> screaming at me just because I parked in the disabled car parking. <laughs> You're like, babe, I'm with you. She's like, fuck you. <laughs> bro just immediately. T- Have you seen those videos of like when people park in disabled car parks? And you'll have that Karen just fucking going off. Yeah, I've seen so many Karen videos. Can't. I love the Karen videos, eh? Yeah. I live for that moment. Would you fight a Karen? I, yeah, I probably would. <laughs> I'll probably throw that horny straight through her nose, bridge of her nose. I, I don't think I've ever dealt with a Karen, a proper full-blown Karen. Uh, so I've only ever had one experience and it wasn't at me. And I had to. T- I, just, I just yelled out, shut the fuck up. It was in a cafe. <laughs> yeah, but you- Yell that out for anything. But it was in a cafe, though. She was screaming at the waitress. Anger issues. She was screaming at the waitress. I was just turning around and saying, shut the fuck up. You're an angry guy. And she left. She left. But I really want, I really, one of my bucket lists in life is to deal with one of those psychotic Karens that you cannot reason with whatsoever. You know, There's you know the just irate fucking screaming. You know the Karens you see jumping up and down on people's windscreens? Yeah, that's what I mean. That's the Karen I want to deal with. If you're jumping up on my windscreen, I promise you this. <laughs> I'm going to hit the throttle so hard that you're going into the tray. I'm bringing you home. <laughs> we're going we're gonna to do some shit. <laughs> we're going to be disposing. <laughs> we're going to play.